Hello, welcome to lesson two of the Firebase tutorial video series. In this lesson, we're going to sign up for our Firebase account, create our Firebase project, and then we're going to download the configuration file in preparation to import that into our Xcode project when we create that in the next lesson. But first, we're going to set things up here on the Firebase side of things. Now, what you need to do is go to firebase.google.com. Don't go to firebase.com because it's just going to tell you that the site has moved to firebase.google.com since Google owns Firebase and they've started to migrate things here. Now, I'm already signed in, but you should see a sign in button up here and all you need is a Google account. So if you already have one, then you're in luck. If not, just simply click sign in and you'll see a link to um, actually create a Google account. I think I'm signed in. When you're signed in, go to console. Okay, so it turns out I'm not signed in. So let me sign in right now. And if you don't have an account, then uh, I think it will prompt you to create one here. Okay, so it's automatically brought me into the console where I can see all of my Firebase projects. If you don't see that, you can simply click. Let me go back to the homepage for a second here. You can simply click this link, go to console after you're signed in, and it's going to show you all of your Firebase projects. So there's another section down here. If you've used uh, the legacy website here at firebase.com and you have some projects here, it's going to show up down here. But what we want to do is create a brand new Firebase project at uh, firebase.google.com and we're going to name it messaging app. I showed you the demo in the previous lesson. Click create project. It's going to take less than a minute to create that project. All right, so here we are. Take a look at all of the things that have been provisioned for our messaging app, authentication, database, storage, hosting, you know, all of these different things that we can explore. So far, we're going to be scratching the surface and using the database portion of things here. So that was it. We've created our Firebase app on this side. Now we need to kind of set things up on the Xcode project side and they've made it really easy for us because what you can do is download a configuration file, just import that file into your Xcode project and that plist file, it contains all of the configuration data and settings to point to this instance of our database and all of this stuff. Uh, what we can do now to get started is click this add Firebase to your iOS app button. And here you're going to enter some details about your Xcode project. Since we haven't created it yet, um, all we really need to do is specify a bundle ID here. If you've already created your Xcode project, um, you already have a bundle ID because that's one of the first things you specify when you create a new Xcode project. So just put that bundle ID here. But since we haven't created that Xcode project yet, uh, we're just going to make up a bundle ID here. And when we create our Xcode project in the next lesson, we're going to want to use the same bundle ID we specify right here. So I'm going to do com dot code with Chris and you can use your name or your company name like com dot your name and then dot messaging app like that and I'm going to give the app a nickname and you can see here there are a couple of other steps the next step after I click add app is it's going to create that configuration file and it's going to automatically download and then we've got to import the Firebase files or SDK into our Xcode project. So we're going to do that through CocoaPods. And if you've seen that video that I released before on how to use CocoaPods, then you'll be set. But otherwise, don't worry, we're going to go through it together. And finally, you can add some initialization code to your Xcode project just to initialize that connection to our Firebase instance here. So those are kind of at high level the steps we're going to go through. In this lesson, we're just going to finish step two, and then the next lesson, we're going to do three and four. So let's click Add App now. Okay, so you can see here that it automatically prompts me to download Google Service Info.plist, and I'm just going to save it on my desktop there. Um, please ignore the mess on my desktop. 
But what could happen is you might get an error saying that you don't have authorization to download it. And that's something that I encountered initially when I was working with Firebase for the first time. So I found out that the problem was that I was signed into multiple Google accounts. So we're just going to hit X here. We can do these other steps afterwards. So I'm going to click X here. As long as you've already downloaded this Google service info.plist to your desktop or somewhere, you know, your project folder, then you're good to go. So we're going to hit the X here and I want to show you right here. I'm signed into a single Google account, but if you get that authorization error, which stops you from downloading that plist, simply hit your icon out here, sign out, and then sign back in with just a single Google account that you want to use for Firebase. And then after that, you'll be at here, the console screen, just simply click your app to get back in. And then I think it was right here. So just click manage to get back here and you can download the plist file here. After you sign out and sign back in with a single Google account, you should be able to click this button and download that file. No problem. Okay, so now that we have our Google service info.plist file that contains all of the configuration settings to connect to this instance of Firebase, we're good to go. In the next lesson, we're going to create the Xcode project and then we're going to add that plist. We're going to add the Firebase SDK through CocoaPods and we're going to make that connection to our database on the Firebase side of things. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.